like trying to like pivot on the denial to, yo, nah, send me the video. Yo, I'm pretty sure I didn't fuck him. And I'm like, bro, you fucked him. And she was like, no, 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 look again. And now I'm getting super tight because I'm like, bro, I'm not about to watch this video of you getting fucked, my nigga. Like, it's on my surveillance. Like, bro, like. Hey, hey, Mr. Understand Me, man. Back at you with the Organic Goddess OG Cafe, man. And uh, we here today, man, right now, you know, really speak about this DJ Academics, man. Because I really like what he's saying. It's because it's a lot of male, it's a lot of young males, man, going through what he just going, what he go what he just went through, you know, getting your house ready. I got my job ready, you know what I'm saying, over abroad. So I understand everything what he going through, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. Hey, DJ Academics, so-called, supposed to be getting exposed, right, by some, you know, broad that he was just messing with, you know, you know, living life, having to come through, hang out, you know, kick it, enjoy a good time with, you know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? He didn't marry her. He, they just had a close bond and they was having sex and all this other stuff, you know. But she decided to, you know, try to be real and expose him, you know, and then stole from him. It, it's a whole bunch. But let me get into it. So let me tell you this. This is where I say DJ Academ Academics and all the rest of us go wrong at, right? We tend to ignore the red flags. Red flags is the warning signs of every woman and every man. And when you ignore them red flags and then you let a person into your house, it's almost like going to the grocery store and grabbing an onion and bringing that onion to the house, not knowing what's about to happen as soon as you open that onion. And the onion look good. It looks very good. And as soon as you start peeling that onion off, it starts making you very teary-eyed. And you want to put that onion down and let somebody else handle that. Somebody that's capable of handling that onion. So sometimes in life, we bring onions to the house. Onions. People that look good, got the nice look to them, got the nice little, you know, curve or circleness, you know, of ass, onion booty, what we call it. You know, and but sometimes when you start to peel that layer off, it starts to make you cry. Y'all feel what I'm saying? So, let's get into it. Stole, supposedly stole 500000 from DJ Academics. Now, first of all, you got cameras all around, around this house. How the hell is you letting her get the safe number and get into the safe and get access to $500,000? Are you a fool? Do you know niggas is killing? And then, you know, he said, I got 50 guns in here. I got 50 guns. But you 50 guns is worrying about all the wrong people. You worry about gangster thugs. But you ain't worried about that one sleeping next to you that got you easily and smooth. Y'all gotta know about Doc Holliday. Doc Holliday didn't get look, he was a capper. He, he would shoot everything, stab everything. But when it came down to him and woman, he was weak. He was weak. And he let women take his money. He let women game him. You know, he let women take him down health-wise. Y'all see the Tombstone movie where Doc Holliday, look, the only buddy he had was Wide Earp at the end. And, and Wide Earp said, nigga, I'm your friend to the end. And he said, nigga, look, go on about your way. I'm dying. Go live your life. Because I live my life with all these tricks and holes, and it wasn't none of them good for me. All she kept on doing is let me smoke a cigarette after cigarette, drink after drink, as long as I kept on getting that money out for her. You know? And... Doc Holliday was worried about all the cowboys, all the cowboys, the riders, the, all the shooters out there. He was worried about all them, but he wasn't worried about the person sleeping next to him. And that's the same thing DJ Academics just went through. He did not, he did not know who was next to him. You know what I'm saying? And when you, the liquor is in your system, the liquor is very powerful. Liquor is powerful, man. And I say crack cocaine if you ask me, man. You know why? Because liquor just puts you out. A crackhead, they get to smoking and, and you get to looking around and, and shit. What else can I get? You know what I'm saying, me? But and, and marijuana just, you know, puts you to sleep. But you ain't, look, look. As soon as a motherfucker get around that safe, you like, hey, what the fuck you got going on? You thought I was sleep, huh, bitch? You thought I was sleep, bitch? Well, you can get your ass away from my goddamn safe. My safe. Yeah. 
How does a person take $500,000 from you? I hope I'm wrong, but 500000 Niggas, you crazy? You leaving $10,000 over here, $10,000. You, you leaving money out around. She ain't never stole nothing. How you know she ain't never stole nothing? Nigga, you be drunk. You be drunk. And DJ Abigail, I, I believe you, DJ Ab Academics, I believe you a cool motherfucker. I mean, I see your shit, nigga. You, you a cool motherfucker. I like your status, homie. You know, but the first thing your homies was supposed to do is tell you that, look, it's a brawl downstairs waiting for you. Hey, bro, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's a brawl downstairs waiting for you. Oh, man, I'm drunk. I'm faded as a motherfucker. All right, well, listen to this, though. This is what we about to do. Me and your close friend, We this is what we about to do. I know she a hoe, and I know we can take her down. But this is what we going to do. Look, baby, you got to go upstairs and lay up, lay up there with DJ Academics until he wakes the fuck up. Because that's my boy. And you look like a little, <laughs> I take you down and, and I look, I'll take you down. And every woman, look, look, they can say, they can tell you what they want to do. It's like man having threesome. Every woman wants it from the front to the back. You hear what I'm saying? They want to, they want to dig in their mouth and they want to dig in their ass at the same damn time. That is a woman's fantasy. If you don't believe it, ask them. I mean, if they lying, eh, eh, look, look, some, well, look, look, 15% out of 85%. That's what I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying, me? They want it from the front to the back, just like a man want two different women that he can, you know, he can hump on because one pussy get tired and he can hit the next pussy. That's just how it go. You know, Muslim status is what I call it. Muslim status. <laughs> Kings of Africa. Right? So you tend to, you know, you get drunk around a woman that you've been drunk with a long time, but women are plotting, they plotting scheme on you. You know, and that's just, women think Faster and harder than men do, and that's just what it is. Now, when we put our mind caps on, we can, we can get, we can be some thinking motherfuckers too. But women think about how they're gonna win against a man, especially when they know that that man ain't with him a hundred percent. He ain't about to marry me. We just fuck it, and y'all know what I'm talking about. They know they the side piece, but they know they in the game, and they know like this. I'm close to all this amount of money. He ain't married me. He ain't signed me up for no contract. I might as well take this shit. You get what I'm saying? So, come on, man. Come on, man. You got to be smarter than that. And then, th and then this. Listen to this. You got to be like this. You, you got to be really on point like this. You got to say, hey, I got 50 guns in my house. 50 guns. I'm worried about all the gangsters. You know, all the scandalous fools that would come up in my house and try to tie me and my mama and my brother and everybody up to get this million dollars, right? He thinking about all the wrong things. Because if you got all these surveillance cameras around you and all this type of stuff, a lot of the smart criminals ain't coming after you. Because why? Smart criminals do not want to go to jail after they get the money. They want to enjoy the money. So real, real criminals, real criminals, they don't do nothing once they see cameras. If they can't get them cameras off, they not doing it. They not ski masking. They not doing it. Real criminals. All right? So, your partners, your partners should have told you to get down. They shouldn't have been worried about busting the nut. They should have been worried about, look, if we fuck her, we're going to tell the homie that we took her down before we leave. Or we're going to say, hey, you... Out of all people, you, he upstairs passed out. So I advise you to go up to the room and lay up in the room with him until he wakes up. Because we about to go. But his homies were so much on some horny shit that they was like, man, you know what? He having all the fun. Well, I might as well get this bitch because we know she a hoe anyway. Because your friends know when you got a hoe next to you. It, 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 it's not rocket scientists when you know your, your homeboy dealing with a hoe. So, hey, she probably gave them the googly eye already and him shit, nigga. I fuck you too. And, you know, she talking about, you know, nigga, DJ Academics, you know, handling, you know, they talking about wee wee and all this other shit. He probably ain't hitting it right. Who knows if he hitting it right or not? You can be hitting the pussy good as a motherfucker, but the bitch still wants some different dick. Am I right or wrong? Yes, I'm right. Thank you. So, I'm going to tell you like this. 
when it comes down to friends and partners, you got to separate both of them if you have feelings for your hoe. If you got feelings for your hoe, you got to make sure your hoe don't come around none of your friends. And that's just how it goes. Because, you know, the weaknesses of sex is a motherfucker, especially in this day and age. There's no loyalty. There's no, there's no morals. Everybody want to get fucked on from the back to the front. They don't give a fuck about how you feel, how, my, how much you love them. Shit, if I can get a train ran on me without you knowing, hey. You know, hey. But you got to understand where DJ Acad Academics is coming from. He coming from a situation of, bitch, you just fucked the homies. And then you not even want to tell me that you fucked the homies. So now I know you a scandalous bitch. I know you a scandalous bitch because you don't even want to tell me that you fucked the homies. Right? Right? For real. She don't even want to say that she fucked the homies. And the homies didn't even tell him that they ran a train on him. So I say it go both ways. Baby should have said, hey, look, man, I took the homies down. You know, I'm loyal to you, but I took the homies down. Two, the homies should have said, hey, we took your bra down. You already know she was a hoe from the jump. You know what I'm saying? You already know she was giving us googly eyes. You already know I'm the one to crack her first time, but I just end up giving her to you because I didn't have time for her. You know, way back when we saw her at, you know, Antonio's Brown party or some shit like that. You know, any of that shit could have happened. So you had to be loyal. You have to have loyal friends around you. You have to have a loyal mistress around you, a loyal girlfriend that'll tell you, hey, I fucked up, baby. I fucked and sucked on your friends, but you know what? It's all good, baby, because I'm with you. Now, if you don't got them type of conversations with your significant other, like, you know, a person that you dealing with, and I look, significant other can be that person that you be with all the time, and you know, you know you damn well you ain't about to marry her. You know damn well you ain't going nowhere. She don't want to marry you. You don't want to marry her. Y'all just fucking, y'all getting money, and y'all living lives together. You know, y'all about the fame, not the, not the money, right? You will automatically have that situation stabilized to where your friends say, hey, you let us know when you fucking a bitch because we don't need no Tupac shit going on, right? Baby, you let me know when, if you know you decide you want to fuck somebody else. But a lot of truths don't come out like that because why? Everybody works with emotional baggage. You can say you, you don't want that hoe, but you love that hoe. You can say you don't want that hoe, but you don't want that hoe fucking with nobody else. Right? Y'all know, know the real. Niggas be loving hoes. Niggas be handcuffing hoes. Nigga, that's what it is, nigga. Shit. Ain't nobody stupid out here. So, I tell everybody, get your shit correct with your bitch and your niggas so you won't have no bullshit behind closed doors where the police come to raid your house over some he shay, see shay shit because your bitch is broke hearted, broken hearted, and emotionally unstable because you said, bitch, you up. Hey. DJ Academics, I'm praying for you. You know, hopefully you already got through the whole situation. And God be with you, all the man and the woman that goes through these situations. Organic guidance is on the rise. So we preaching that organic guidance OG Cafe. We only going to come at you one way. Organic rod. Organic guidance. Y'all like, subscribe, and share. And DJ Academics, man, look, uh, I know you be drinking that top of the morning, but the first thing you should do is put a bottle of water in your system before you, you know, go on your drinking binge. But, hey, who's to tell another motherfucker about how they live? Shit, he getting millions of dollars. He living his life how he want it, and I respect that. But, you know, just know that the liquor is very strong, and it can tear up that liver, and you need to be out here, you know, taking care of your moms and everybody else, you know, instead of, you know, going down health-wise. So that's all I say to DJ Ackman. Other than that, man, do your thing, man, and stay on point, man. And, um... Shit, holla at me, man. I got a couple of bras to holla at you, man. Get you get you right. Deuces.